The CBR2 is a sonic motion detector that works by simply plugging it in. And it automatically identifies that the TI Inspire handheld or the TI Inspire software automatically identifies it as a CBR2 motion detector and it uh, begins collecting data. So there's a couple icons I want you to note. Here's one called uh, the Start Collection button. Um, this looks like a play button. If we uh, simply press play, then you will see some of the, the power. If we press the Start Collection, and we will stop collecting. Now, notice how it works by reflection. And there was a bit of a, um, an outlier here when it first started out. I really was not two meters away, but it did not reflect um, back properly. This is a nice opportunity to show you menu, data, and the strike data. We will strike the data that is outside of the region. Well, I haven't selected any region. So let's try that one more time. Let's um, select a certain region here. and menu data and strike the data outside that region and look how pretty that is it automatically fits it in there and we can see we can talk about what's going on with the slope of this that's why there's no better tool to use in an algebra classroom than the CBR2 for, for teaching slope um, if we press menu I wonder how we could not look at both of the graphs at the same time the first option under there is show graph. If we just wanted to show the first graph and just focus in on position and not so much on the velocity, then there's the position versus time. Let's take a look at a uh, one of the most popular features features about the CBR2 um, and the new Vernier data quest is we'll do a home and we'll do a new document and uh, and again as soon as we plug it in then the Vernier Data Quest is launched. And let's take a look at the motion match. Now, if you press menu, motion match is under analyze. And you're like, I can't get to analyze. True. But if you go to view, you, there's three views the meter, the graph, and the table. So if we view the graph, then analyze is available. Notice these three icons table, graph, the meter view. So if, anyway, if you click on the meter view and you go to, to menu, now analyze is available because what are you doing? You're analyzing the graph. Let's choose the motion match, the last option. And let's do a new position match. And here it is, we need to start at two meters away. If you didn't like that one, you could just repeat that menu, analyze, and motion match, the new position match. And there it repeats it. Okay, I like that first one a lot better than this second one. Analyze motion. There we go. Lovely one, in fact. All right. So we'll go ahead and, and give this one a go. We'll try and model that for five seconds. Starting around a little over one meter away and moving towards the wall. Ready and begin collection. Guess what? Going the wrong way. Yeah. So starting out um, about where I did and then increasing the distance away from the wall very slowly, very slowly. Let's try that again, very slowly. And now fairly quickly moving towards the wall and then about the same speed moving away from the wall. So that's a nice example of motion match. Uh, lots of things can be discussed comparing the slope um, that the student walked with the student that with the slope that is there that they were trying to match. Uh, let's let me demonstrate and we'll do menu and a new experiment. Let's demonstrate. Do you want to clear all the settings? Yes. Um, let's do a dr ball, dropping the ball, and show you how it's helpful for um, for modeling, for uh, teaching about quadratics. And so for this one, I'll choose to set up the sensor. I'm going to reverse it. Notice that you can change to feet for a lot of um, math teachers. They like feet more than meters and we don't need to zero this one but we will reverse it and so now notice look at look how it's like pointing down and so it's about a meter above the ground and I will drop a reflecting ball a racket ball and press it's helpful to work in pairs for this one but I'll start the collection and try and drop the ball underneath the motion detector stop oh there's some, some oh there's some really good data in here let's pick the data again Yes, let's look at, um, yeah, we'll just look at one of them. 
and if we did menu the data and striking the data that's outside that region then wow this is really good uh, this is an important icon for you to know about it's called the store the latest data set um, I very much like to do that and let's put this motion detector in front of a, of a ball that I have hanging from the ceiling let's see if we can get some nice pendulum motion start the data collection oh yeah oh look at that data isn't that lovely sinusoidal for five seconds very easy to use and again useful for so many